going on traders hope everybody had a nice weekend got another weekly market profile forecast for you all uh, before we get into the weekly profile however uh, I want to dig in and show you guys the session profile uh, just something a little interesting that I wanted to point out uh, I've been rereading mind over markets by Jim Dalton so uh, this stuff has been pretty fresh in my head this weekend uh, so we opened you can see O period right here I'm gonna zoom in a little bit right here uh, we opened right here, this 32.59, 32.60 area, and we opened within value. So when we open within value, uh, that typically signifies acceptance, which means uh, that the market is balanced and that the sentiment from the previous session, which is Friday, this is last Friday's session, uh, has not changed very much. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, if we move back down and New York session uh, tomorrow morning opens up uh, with acceptance or opening up within value. Um, but I just wanted to point that out. And uh, that's it's an interesting uh, thing to watch for, especially in a New York session, because um, the risk and the opportunity are, are fairly low uh, in a market that opens within value. Uh, however, something that Jim Dalton talks about is when a market opens and builds value within the previous day's value area, it's possible very early on to make a rough estimate of the day's range potential. So uh, I am actually going to make a completely separate video explaining how to uh, gather that rough estimate for the range for the um, you know the next day's potential or for the next session's potential because um, that's a little more in-depth and a little bit more advanced. So with that, let's hop into the weekly profile and we'll see what we got here. So uh, once again, we opened up you know, right around this level. We actually opened up um, below the initial balance for the week of September 21st. And you can see uh, once again, as I've mentioned in my previous weekly forecast, that the, the new weekly profile does not start to populate until New York session begins on Monday. Uh, so that's why we're working with last week's profile still. Um, so with that said, I'm looking for, I'm going to be looking for acceptance uh, above this area, this 3285 area um, on a, I guess, a grander scheme for the week moving forward. If we can get accepted and do business, spend some time above 3285. Uh, you can see this matches up with the value area high from the week of September 21st as well, and value area low from the week of September 14th. And then we got the, uh, I'm sorry, the weekly low at 3298.25 from the week of September 7th. So we do have uh, quite a bit in this area. So I could even draw a little, well, not, not so little. Um, but little range here and I would be looking for price to move and hold above this level and if we can do that I'd be looking for price to move back up into the 3300s um, on a downside note uh, more immediately I would be looking for us to hold this 57 to 63 area I could also you know draw another little range let me get rid of that arrow real quick I could draw another little range here um, so if we break this, I think it's very likely that we're going to revisit this 28, I'm sorry, this 38 level right here. And, you know, maybe even back down to last week's low. And uh, if we break 25 this week, if we break and hold below 25, then I think we're probably going to break uh, the 3200s and revisit this weekly low from the week of September 21st. So... Uh, I'm going to turn some of my levels back on from last week. So you can see how I already have these marked off. We discussed them uh, in last week's daily recaps and things like that. But you can see how last week's levels are you know, still extremely relevant, especially because we are opening up within range and within value from last week's profile. So actually, I'm going to switch over to the ES profile. And here are my zones. So you can see these are my levels from last week and still valid. You know, I'm still going to leave these up until we essentially escape this range. I'll update settlement price. Settlement price from Friday was 3264 
75. That was with the 30th. Okay. All right. So yeah, this this just backs up uh, the fact that we're in balance right now, which is pretty interesting. You know, settlement price is a really easy way to see, generally speaking, whether or not we're in balance or not, because you can see, as I've talked about in many of my other videos, based on where the profile is in relation to settlement. Uh, usually, I, I'm looking at New York session, um, but you know, same thing here. You can see that we opened up, and settlement price is basically splitting the profile. You know, we had um, very close to an even amount of business done below. Um, you could say it's slightly imbalanced to the downside, um, but I would I would call this balanced overall, especially because we opened, uh, you know, within range and value. So uh, that's something that I'm going to be looking for. You know, it's going to be interesting to see if we kind of fill out this area more. And um, if we do, then I think it's it's pretty likely that we see uh, a bit of ranging, uh, possibly a move up and some ranging in this area. But that's really just speculation on my end. Um, I would like to see a more business and more activity get done in the overnight session before I can even make a judgment on this. You know, it's too early for me to, to make any sort of call in regards to that. And, um, you know, it's, it's pretty early. So got to wait, got to see what happens. Uh, so just kind of preliminary thoughts in regards to the more immediate session profiles. Uh, if we go over to the good old regular chart here, Let me toggle these indicators. We'll do something quick. Toggle the indicators and I'll put the drawings back on. Zoom out a little bit. So you can see when you look at it on, you know, the, the regular price chart, that price is very, very nicely moving within these levels. Uh, we have a little bit of a, we basically open with a bit of a gap down. We move down into this uh, nice range from last week between the 1029 overnight low and the 1029 range low, about a five point range. And then we moved right back up into uh, this five or so point range uh, between the 30th overnight point of control and the 28th value area low, uh, basically between 3275 and 3270. And now you can see that we are actually very nicely testing settlement price. So I'm um, just looking at some very, very short term price action here. You know, it looks like the oscillators are kind of curling down. So settlement doesn't hold back up here. Uh, I would be looking for a move back down to this level. And then if this level cannot hold up, uh, I would certainly be looking for a move back down to uh, this right here, which is, let's see. This is the London opening range from Friday. Um, so lots of liquidity down here, I would imagine. Uh, lots of orders sitting here, a lot of interest in this area. We got the Fib Pivot S1 as well. Uh, that's where I took a nice long from uh, in my other video that I posted last week. Um, so, so yeah, you know, immediate thoughts. If we don't hold settlement, you know, probably moving down into this area. But that's you know very very immediate, and we want to focus on more longer term stuff here. So uh, moving back to the weekly profile, just to reiterate my thoughts for at least the the opening of the week with New York session uh, starting on Monday. I would be looking for this level to hold to the upside most immediately, 63 to 57. If we don't hold this level, I think it's very likely that we're moving back down to this area right here, you know, 38 to 28. Um, you know, if we break 28, very likely we see this, you know, 23, 25. And if that doesn't hold, then we're probably going down another 20 plus points, I would say, uh, under under 3,200, or at least to test that 3,200 level. On the upside, I would like to see price. Well, first of all, price has to hold this level, get acceptance above it, right? Which we're technically doing right now. Um, but more importantly, I want to see it in New York session because that's where the volume comes in and that's where that's where the real price information uh, gets laid out, essentially. 
So I want to see us hold this. Uh, if we can hold this level, I think it's very likely that we're moving back up uh, towards 85, 88. If we hold this, you know, 92, like I said earlier, you can draw a range between this area. If we hold this, uh, I like I like back into the 3300s, 3311, 3318, and then you know maybe some higher higher targets, something like that. Something like that, perhaps, you know, somewhere in this range. I usually don't like to draw my ranges like bigger than 10 or 15 points. Um, but weekly, you know, that's that's really nothing for, for a weekly range, to be fair. So uh, I'll leave it right here. I think that encompasses some nice levels. We do have a uh, previous naked point of control there. So, and we have a, a big old gap in the profile here. So um, further, further more upside targets, I would say that we're filling this gap if we do get above uh, this 3326 level, very, very likely. So those are my thoughts for the coming week. And with that said, it's gonna be a very interesting week with the election coming up. And due to the election, I will probably be sizing down and probably be trading less uh, likely still do some some daily recaps and things like that, but uh, you know just stay cautious. These are the times where risk management, especially, is extremely important because things can happen on a dime. Of course, things can happen on a dime at any moment, but especially when there are such large outside sources that can have an effect directly and immediately on the market, like the, the U.S. presidential election. It's pretty big. So manage risk properly. Make sure that you are sizing down, to be honest. You know, if I'm going to be trading at all, I'll be sizing down just to be safe. Um, you know, I'm not even allowed to trade on a lot of the proprietary trading firm accounts that I have just because they want to keep their money. You know, they want to manage their money and they tell their traders to just take the week off. When you're trading with a prop firm, you know, they don't, they don't want you trading during an election. They'd rather just protect that capital and get their traders back in the market in a time where they are more confident that their trader's edge is going to work and work well. So keep that in mind. You know, if you guys are struggling in the markets this week, um, it's okay to just take a break. You know, it's okay to just watch and observe how the markets act during a presidential election. Maybe go on sim, practice, and see what it's like trading during this. But there's really not a ton of need to put a ton of risk on at a time like this you know it's a risk off scenario i would say so uh, with that said i hope you guys have an excellent start to your week if you enjoy these market profile videos please like and subscribe and leave me a comment below i would love to hear your thoughts and i would love to hear any questions you guys have about market profile because as i hope you guys can tell uh, i love talking about these things and i would love to continue to make videos and continue to help everybody learn these tools that really helped me tremendously in my journey. So uh, with that said, uh, please check out the description below where you can find access to our free Facebook group, where you can find my daily trade plans based on market profile. You can also find access to our website where you can get one-on-one -on -one mentoring with me. You can also get access to our private Discord group where you can watch myself trade every day at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday, as well as access our proprietary indicator package, which you have seen in this video a little bit. So guys, I won't take this too long, but I want to thank you for being a part of the trading network, taking the time to watch these videos, and I will see you tomorrow with a daily recap. <music>